So let's talk about GoPro. So DJI just launched their brand new Osmo Action 4 and Insta360, their new Insta360 Go 3. Both of these ahead of the new GoPro 12. But we all know that GoPro has a sort of a fixed yearly cycle, which means that the GoPro 12 will be released in September or October this year. But I also received some new leaks, which might give the GoPro 12 a release date the 13th of September. So let's talk about the specs. Now, when I first saw some leaked images of the GoPro Hero 12, I was actually super excited. I saw a one inch mark on the side and 4K super slow motion at 240 FPS and even a rumored resolution of six or 8K at 60 FPS, which got me really excited. And I thought, finally, we get some proper upgrades uh, to a GoPro, which haven't really received any proper or major upgrades since the GoPro Hero 9. So according to the latest leak, here from WinFuture, it seems that we have some accurate release notes, including some images. So according to these, the GoPro Hero 12 will be running off the same 27 megapixel 1 over 1.9 inch sensor as the GoPro Hero 11. So no 1 inch sensor this time, which means the GoPro Hero 12 will shoot 5.3K videos at 60 FPS, just like its predecessor, the GoPro Hero 11. It will also support HDR videos and photos, and you'll be able to to record videos in 8 or 10 bit, which is nice. Now, at first glance, it might look like there's a lot of dust on this image right here, but this is actually the new cosmetic improvements of the new Hero 12. Call it what you want, but at least there is some differences. As of the body, it looks exactly the same as the Hero 11. It has that 2.27 inch screen on the back and the 1.4 inch on the front. Whether or not the front screen has a touch function is hard to say, but I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. So when it comes to battery life, the GoPro Hero 12 will run the same 1720 milliamp hour battery as we've seen with the GoPro Hero 11, but it will be slightly improved up to 70 minutes when shooting in 5.3K resolution at 60 FPS compared to the Hero 11. And as for 4K videos, we might actually see a record time up to two and a half hours, which would be a big improvement if it actually recorded for that long. Now, along with the improved battery performance, I think we'll see features like Hyper Smooth 6.0 stabilization, Horizon Lock, Hyper View, Hyper Smooth with Auto Boost, and more. Now, as a water depth, the Action 4 is still gonna be the king. It runs off of 18 meters without needing a dive case, which is pretty impressive. However, the GoPro Hero 12 will still be limited to 10 meters, which I actually find quite odd, especially when we see DJI pushing the limits on each release with the Action 4 now being waterproof, as, as I said, down to 18 meters without a dive case, and even the Go 3 receiving another meter from the previous Go 2. So the Go 3 is now waterproof down to 5 meters and the Go 2 was previously 4 meters. So there is an improvement with all these devices. I would love to see more improvements to a GoPro Hero 12. But again, these are all leaks. They seem to be pretty accurate, but there could be some changes as well. I would love to see some major improvements to GoPro. You know, it's the 12th generation, so I would kind of expect more, but you know, we have to wait and see for the GoPro Hero 12 to actually be released as well to figure that out if there is some major improvements. Now, as for the release date of the GoPro Hero 12, it's not confirmed, but from the leaks, it should have a release date on uh, September 13, and the price tag will be 450 euro, and in US dollars, that is 399. So will the GoPro Hero 12 be the new king of action cameras, or will the Action 4 still remain on top with its new 1 over 1.3 inch seamless sensor, which provides some stunning low light images. Let me know down below.